the seismic risk is so high in Southern California and up down the state of California because we, have, we haven't really seen a big one quite yet. So if that happens, total loss. Dr. Miyamoto works to plan for the future before the big one and says we're just not prepared. People simply don't have insurance to replace those buildings. And uh, so next 10 years, yeah, something bad thing's gonna happen for sure. He's a safety commissioner on the California Seismic Safety Commission and says Bakersfield could potentially be one of the higher risk areas. Uh, Bakersfield uh, city was zone four, so it went through the uh, so-called statewide seismic strengthening requirement uh, in the mid-2000. Mid so they did that. But uh, I think the point is this, uh, even they did a seismic strengthening program, that's a minimum code thing. Like if you see Napa earthquake last year, Minimal buildings are seismically strengthened, obviously, it's in zone four, but still have a major damage to it. Expectations, I think, uh, between uh, the, what building code provide, uh, provides and uh, what public expects is totally different. I think that's a huge gap there, gigantic gap, because people think, assume, okay, it's met the building code, means earthquake approved. That's what kind of people think about those things, you know, but that's just far from a truth. There's a huge disappointment you know, after the major earthquake, o always. Although meeting this code is legally sufficient, we could do much better. Inform the owners, inform the commercial private uh, sectors to, hey, um, meeting the code is great, let's do that. But there's a limitations to it. And by there are different, actually better way to doing it. And the cost increment to make the buildings resilient it's just not a much. The state has looked at schools as a high priority in terms of earthquake safety. Yeah, even the state of California, we have that, that really good uh, um, quality control process uh, for the school construction. So new schools, they will perform well. But all the schools in the state of California identify these schools already. They are dangerous buildings out there and used by the students today in California. Countries that have seen devastating earthquakes have grown to develop stricter codes, and he says we should be doing this now. Some countries, you know, unfortunately, after earthquake, they really get into this kind of thing. Like uh, if you go to New Zealand, it's a big deal. If you go to Japan, you know, Italy, just people start doing it. But it's always after the fact, unfortunately. But California, I think there's a time we can do this before the fact. We can actually change the uh, outcome. I think we can change the future. We don't have to go through what people are going through out there.